only half an hour to go before school ends. But at this government school in Mohamma in the southern Indian state of Kerala, students are still hard at work. It's not just another lesson in math or history, nor is Vidya Anusudhan their teacher. She is here as part of a new program to train students on how to upcycle old clothes and make them into cloth bags. Vidya has been stitching clothes for years now. But it's only in 2016 when she was approached and given training by her panchayat and non-profit Ashoka Trust in Ecology and Environment or ATRI that she decided to switch to making bags, pillowcases and sanitary pads from old clothes collected from homes, schools and colleges. Since then, she along with this small crew of women have made close to 6,000 cloth bags from around 2,600 kgs of used clothes. For the women, the benefits have been multifold. Convincing herself to switch to upcycling wasn't a huge task. Vidya's native village, Muhamma, in Alapura district, lies along Vembanad Lake, the longest lake in India. And for years, she has witnessed pollution in the lake getting progressively worse. Being part of an initiative that reduces the number of clothes dumped into the lake, while also helping make alternatives for plastic bags, seemed meaningful to her. Flowing through three districts of Kerala, the Vembanad Lake is a famed tourist spot known for its houseboats, canals and paddy fields. It is also a Ramsar site, meaning it has been designated a wetland of international importance by UNESCO. But the lake, which serves as a lifeline for 1.6 million people, is also one of the most polluted water bodies in the world. A recent study found high levels of plastics and microplastics in the lake. Textiles and glass are also major sources of pollution. Pesticides used in nearby paddy fields also trickle down into the water, choking the rich biodiversity that exists in and around it. In Mohamma, a small village with a population of 25,000, the impact has been severe. The situation was dire when the Alapura branch of Bangalore-based non-profit ATRI approached the Panchayat in 2016 with an idea. Make Muhamma a model wetland village. Under the project, a wide range of initiatives including the upcycling enterprise were launched. 
The, all our work is involved with maximum community participation. We believe in an inclusive form of management. So actually for this project also, we made sure that the local panchayat is partnered with us along with the health department and the uh, uh, other community-based organizations in the area. So I think uh, maybe that, that should be one reason uh, that partnership made it happen. Uh, the, the response we got was tremendous. That response was the highest for another initiative which made Muhamma India's first synthetic sanitary pad-free village. Plastic-based pads that end up in the lake were found to be a major source of pollution in the village. With a survey finding that 7,000 menstruating women in Muhamma use up to 1 lakh sanitary pads a month. Ever since they were distributed on subsidized rates, Bindu switched to using cloth pads and menstrual cups. That's not the only lifestyle change that Bindu brought about. Like many others in Mohamma, she installed a system at home that now ensures efficient disposal of food and other organic waste. The biopod developed and distributed by A3 utilizes black soldier flies, which are attracted to the smell of waste put into the biopods. The flies lay eggs which are directed into the biopod. Their larvae then feed on the food waste to grow while simultaneously converting the waste into manure. The flies that grow out of the larvae are directed into another container, where they are collected and later used as a source of protein for chicken and other poultry. For Joycey, the biopods have helped manage waste at home and also earn an income. She got trained on how to make a DIY version of the biopods using materials like buckets and pipes at home. Now, as and when orders come in, she makes them and earns a profit of around 200 rupees per biopod. Now all eyes are on the future. Like in the upcycling initiative, school students in Mohamma are also being given training on how to use and make biopods at home. The project's impact have found resonance in other parts of the country. Inquiries have been pouring in from neighbouring districts as well as from other states, like Nagaland, where the Biopod initiative is now in the process of being scaled up. Back in Mohamma, despite the funding received by A3 ending in 2020, the project continues to live on with the NGO's support and the panchayat's leadership. For the residents here, continuing to set a model in wetland conservation is as important a task as protecting and conserving the lake that nourishes and sustains them. Thanks for watching Eco India. If you like the story, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to scroll.in on YouTube.